Hello and welcome to the 133rd episode of the Gojin Podcast. I am your hostess, Gojin. Today is October 29th, uh, two days before Halloween, if that makes any difference to you. It doesn't to me. I'm, uh, I'm over it. <laughs> don't, we don't turn the light on. We don't give candy to kids. We... Don't hand out pennies. We are just grumpy old people. Get off my yard. Not really. We're not that grumpy, but uh, I just, I'm not in Halloween anymore. So uh, I just skip it. Next, I think we're going to be, uh, well, I will not say what we're going to be. I'll just put a picture maybe on my Instagram feed Tuesday at work we're planning on doing a group costume thing that all goes together so you can see what we do if it works but anyway um, welcome if this is your first time I am so thankful that you've decided to join us um, we talk about well okay we not so much I do most of the talking, but I hear you out there. I know that you're out there and you're saying, you're a crazy lady. And that's fine. I don't mind one bit. Um, I always told my daughters when they were angry with me, I didn't care what they called me. Um, go in your room, shut the door, call me anything you want. Don't slam the door because that's, that's, that's one of my things I can't stand. <laughs> but anyway. I am Gojin, and you can find me as Gojin on Ravelry, which is a fiber-based um, community of people who knit and crochet or spin or weave, uh, mainly those four things. There are patterns. It's all free. It's wonderful. Um, so if you're a, a fiber enthusiast, I hope you're a member of Ravelry. And friend me, I'm Gojen, G-O-J-E-N-N. Because -E um, I'd love to see what you're doing and follow along with you. And besides fiber fun, we talk about painting and art. And I am a uh, hobby artist learning how to use watercolors and all kinds of other medium media yeah plural is plural is media right I think so anyway um, just having fun with it and I've uh, learned about artist trading cards and so I'm very excited and I'm all up in that right now so let's see what have I done since last week grand jury on, uh, I had been chosen to serve on our circuit court in the city, uh, a grand jury of the circuit court, and I didn't know what to expect. Uh, they just said, show up at 845 on Monday, so I did. I was so nervous I couldn't find my ID to show it to the officer. Like, I was afraid he was going to say, ha ha, we got you. You thought you were going to be on the grand jury, but no. We've seen you speeding every time you're in your car, and we're going to put you in jail, which is downstairs. Yeah, so I was, uh, I got it right here, officer. Please, don't put me in jail. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm never, I have never in my life been one of those who thinks a man looks better in uniform. No, mm -mm. Give me jeans and a t-shirt any day. All that to say, um, there were only six of us. The seventh person uh, was in the hospital, apparently. And so once they swore us in, uh, they said, right this way. And by nine o'clock, we were working. We were doing processing indictments. Um, we would have, usually it was a police officer, but we also had a state trooper. We had um, an insurance uh, investigator. Um, but most, for the most part, it was police officers and detectives and whatnot. And uh, they gave us their evidence as to why they thought we should issue an indictment on these people. 
each person one at a time. And they gave us their evidence and then they left and we decided whether there was enough to go to trial. That's all we did. Um, from nine o'clock until about a quarter to one. And one of the ladies was a traffic guard that was on the jury. And so, you know, we decided we'd work straight on through lunch and that maybe we'd get out in time for her to go be a traffic a school guard, crossing guard. So it was wonderful. The worst part was the judge told us we'd done such a good job, we probably wouldn't have to come back. <coughs> Excuse me, bless me. <laughs> so, um, even though the paperwork that I got said that I would be on the grand jury from for November and December, we issued enough, we issued indictments that will keep the court busy through the end of the year, is what he said. So, I'm glad we did a good job. Uh, th th I learned several things. Um, did you know that it's a felony if you have a crack pipe, but you don't have any crack on you? But if there's residue of crack in the pipe, that's a felony. I asked the police officer, I said, how much crack did the guy have on him? Because they said they found his crack pipe, sent it off, and it was positive for cocaine or crack or whatever. And he said, we didn't find any crack on him. And I said, you mean it's a felony just to have a crack pipe? And it's not to have a clean crack pipe. If there's residue, <laughs> that's what'll get you. So tell all your friends. I don't know. Uh, and most criminals are caught in traffic stops, or at least the dumb ones that we had. You know, they had a tail light out, a brake light, um, whatever. They were weaving. And when they rolled the window down, a cloud, <laughs> like on Cheech and Chong, if y'all remember Cheech and Chong, uh, the cloud of marijuana smoke would just come rolling out. That's what apparently still happens. And then people wonder why they're going to jail. Beats the heck out of me. But anyway, I had a wonderful time. Um, I would love to do it again. Um, of course, we weren't involved with whether or not the individuals were guilty or innocent. We just had to decide if the state had enough evidence to prosecute. And if so, then we said yes. And in all but like two cases, we said yes. Because I mean, otherwise, why, why does the police come to us? You know, they've got to have enough evidence to say uh, that they should be prosecuted. So anyway, I had a wonderful time. Wonderful. I took my, excuse me, I'm leaning. I took my crochet project with me because I thought maybe we were going to be sitting and it would be a long wait or whatever. I uh, no, there was no waiting at all. There was a bathroom right, you know, in the room. You went, you didn't have to go out in the hallway. You just went that way. So, I mean, we didn't leave the room the entire time. But I took my virus with me. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, people, that is the color. And this is Knit Picks. One moment, please. It is Knit Picks Hawthorne Fingering Weight in the Turkish Delight colorway. It is as beautiful as it looks. Um, if you remember, I, I started it months and months, maybe a year ago. But what I did was this section right here, right here, I left it out. It caused a bit of a problem. It never would lay down flat. And I thought, well, it's just a matter of blocking. But when I went back and looked at it, I could see that I had totally screwed up. So I had to go take it all the way back down to here to start again. So I've made a little, I've made a little progress. I'm not sure how big I'm going to go, if I'm going to let it just be a scarf or if I'm going to go full-on shawl with it. 
but this is the only crafty project I'm working on right now. I have plans for some possible Chris. Hello, I'm still here. Oh, so for some possible Christmas gifts. Um, I don't know. I don't know if people appreciate getting handmade gifts anymore, you know? So I'm not sure. And for uh, Go Pink for October month, in, on, in not in honor of, but in uh, for awareness of breast cancer, and we have two people who have had breast cancer in my department of 12, and we've had another have uh, some difficulties. So, you know, this is something that's really near and dear to us. So I went pink. I did, I dyed my hair pink for the day, and I'll put a picture hopefully at the end of this. Because, you know, hey, it, it is, it's an awareness thing. And here's my PSA. I hope, ladies and gentlemen, if there's any of you out there, check yourself, do your self-exam. Doesn't hurt. Um, one of my friends that works with me who is a breast cancer survivor, she said, they're your tatas, play with them. You know, it's up to you. So take care of yourselves. I can't afford to lose a single viewer. And that's what it's all about. It's all about me, right? Um, my art journal. I have had on my goal list, list to start my art journal for three weeks, but I tell you, and it's got this perforated paper that I've pulled out several sheets and made artist trading cards, but look at that. Is that scary or what? That's scary. What if you do the wrong thing? What if you're supposed to pick up a pink and you pick up a blue? What if you ruin it? What if you mess it up? Well, just like my grandson told me with my podcast, all those 132 episodes ago, just do it. So this is October. I decided I would start with what I'm comfortable with and happy with, um, which is the Zentangles. And I used Sharpie markers. because I just wanted to be bold and vibrant, and I did. So now that that's done, I think I can go ahead and work in the journal. Because here's the next page. It's white, completely white. But I think I'm going to be able to um, move on with it. So... Next week, I should have at least another two pages done. I'm going to see about joining in the art journal uh, challenges. Um, I know there's several on Facebook, and I might just do that to get me going. As far as my art goes, I did this. I might need to take it out of the little plastic thing so you can see it without glare. I did this artist trading card. The theme was haunted houses. And so I just cut, I printed off a coloring page um, of the haunted house and colored it in with grays and blacks. And you really, it doesn't hardly look like it. But then I, uh, once it was dry good, I put it on this background, which is like a tag, the brown uh, stuff. And then I took the parchment paper and cut out little ghosts and glued them on and once they were good and dry, I drew around them and drew their faces and then wrote boo up at the top. I'm really happy with that. I, I truly am. And one of the things when you swap 
artist trading cards is you put them in these little plastic sleeves like if you were collecting baseball cards but you put them in there to keep them from getting roughed up and all that good stuff when you trade them so I've got several more artist trading cards to make um, because I got excited and decided to do my own swaps on the web uh, the website swap dash bot dot com and I'm going to be doing uh, I went ahead and since I was carried away which I often do I, uh, I made three swaps one is November holidays and I found one of those calendars that has days like pancake day and um you know, wash your cat day and stuff like that. And uh, so I encourage the challenges for everybody who joins the swap to make an artist trading card based on one of those alternate holidays. And one swap is November and one is December. So um, that should be fun to, you know, besides Thanksgiving or Veterans Day for November and besides Christmas for December. So, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, everybody's main December holiday. I think, I know there was one that was Pancake Day, so I think I'm going to have to make some pancakes. <laughs> I mean, draw them or whatever and put them on a card. And then I have another one, uh, another challenge to do, which is to make a collage card. And I've already got the background done, now I just have to do the fun part. So anyway, that gives me so much excitement. It's just, it's just not even funny. So that's what I've been doing for the past two weeks, past one week. Where'd that come from? I don't know. Um, this week, Halloween, the end of the month. And so if you are a Prime member at Amazon, if you're an Amazon Prime, uh, you get one free book a month you automatically sign up for the email and they'll give you a choice of like five or six books and you choose one that's free Kindle book um, you also if you borrow from the lending library you can borrow I think one book a month so you can because I finished mine and I'll tell you about that in just a minute well don't remember the name of it darn but it was a book that I had started reading when I had the Kindle Unlimited uh, that that's like ten dollars a month I had the free month of that I started it and then at the end it disappeared and I hadn't finished it it was by Michael Mather I don't remember it was about uh, yeah I don't know computers taken over kind of but for financial gain but anyway cyber something net dark net dark net that was the name of it so I finished that I also finished um, the first book in the wheel of time series by Robert Jordan um, the eye of the world I finished that. That was an audible book, and I really did enjoy that. It took me a long time to read. It was a long book, um, and I'm going to go to, uh, well, I've already started reading American Gods by Neil Gaiman, which is an audible book as well, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm interested in that. I've already read it years ago when it came out. I read it as a book and now I'm listening to the audible book and loving it it's a full cast production so that is making me really happy it's easier to keep track of the characters um, so I'm loving that American Gods by Neil Gaiman okay so you can get a book on the first of the month you get a free book out of the ones that they let you choose from you can get another lending library book and 
What else? Oh, my Ravelry challenges come out for the month. I was going, what other thing? And that's what it is. Excuse me. Um, the, all the Ravelry challenges for the Harry Potter Knitting and Crochet House Cup and for Nerdopolis come out on the 1st. So I will be looking at that and seeing what I can do based on the Christmas presents that I'm thinking I may want to make. I can't decide. Maybe, maybe not. But, um, so there's that. Oh, do you remember that I went to the food truck rally back in the, uh, I don't know, June or July? It was when it was starting to get hot. Um, and it was the first one. My son-in-law, who's on the city council, had really been pushing for us to get the food truck rally. And we did. And my mom and dad and my daughter and my grandson and my son-in-law. And we just had a wonderful, wonderful day of it uh, or afternoon of it, trying all kinds of different food. Uh, so anyway, that was so successful. It's coming back again next Saturday. I'm so excited. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably go Greek again. I went Greek last time. So, um, because we don't have good Greek food here in, in Danville. So it's really, we, if we do have it, it's sky high and it's been Americanized. It's like Taco Bell for Greeks, you know? So that's next Saturday. Next Sunday, if you're in the U.S., it's fall back, or if you're in the U.S. and in certain states, it's uh, fall back time-wise, so we'll get an extra hour's sleep, which I can always use. They'll probably appreciate it at work that I'm not sleeping there, but um, we will fall back Saturday night into Sunday, and then I believe it's the 7th, it's either the 7th or the 9th, or the 4th, <laughs> I think it's the 7th that we're in the state of Virginia, we're having a gubernatorial election. So um, if you're having elections in where you are, I hope you go out and vote too, because that's one of the only ways that we can make ourselves heard. And also, I hope to be doing a flip back through October and a planning plan with me for November. Doesn't that book look loved? Doesn't it? it is. I tell you, I just, I love this journal. I love it so much. And just doing this, just kind of, you know, looking through it like this. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah, that was fun. And I was playing with uh, making words look different, you know, that kind of thing. And now look at me making ATCs, artist trading cards. It is free to join Swapbot, uh, and if you're thinking that you might like to do that, you might like to be in an artist trading card swap, join up. You know, I'm Gojin there. I like that, because so I can stick to that being easy. I wish I could get that on my personalized license tag, but somebody else already has it. Rat things. Anyway, I hope that you have had a good week and that you've got some fun planned for this coming week. Um, I hope you will give me a thumbs up, uh, share, uh, join us. We're always having fun. And then next week, don't forget to set your clocks back in the U.S. if your place is doing it or not. And otherwise, I will see you then. Until I do... I wish you nothing but love and laughter. <laughs>